Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Eurovision TV in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> what a difference. Yeah, live. Hangover. Sunlight. Whoa. Hangover. <laughs> hangover. Yes. Hangover. Everybody with hung different kinds of hangover. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I've just got a dog barking in the background. I'm like, shut your mouth, dog. <laughs> Never going to be. It's just, oh, see, there's always some kind of chaos. There's always some kind of chaos. Um, but that is part of the show, isn't it? And we love it. Um, but I, I'm joined by all these lovely YouTubers. Uh, let me go through one of them. I'm sure you know who they are by now. But this is also our last official like Ooh. Eurovision tea rundown for the season, which we will have some other videos, I'm sure, to come even after Eurovision. And I'm sure you, during Eurovision, we're going to be together, some of us. So we will have some content in that sense. But we have Laura Slavandic. The Balkan Guy, Vin's Eurovision, Paco Chico Toxica, and Dan Alexandrov. So today we are going to be doing the last four songs, as I said. And to start it off, we're going to do Belgium. Because of you, well, because of you, come on. So, Belgium. do we think Belgium? is going to qualify. I have counted Dama, by the way. I've only like seven, so we're all good. Okay. So <laughs> <qualify. Okay. laughs> good. Don't come for my ass this time, bitch. <laughs> I did come for you last time for that. I was like, you're putting all them through. <laughs> you know what? I was yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited to hear your opinions this time. Yeah. Let's see Belgium. Have you cleaned your ears this time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. We oh are... my god. La Laura, you we'll see about that. We will we'll see oh, about that. Bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm joking. The shade is real today. <laughs> I knew it was going to be this shady today. I would have called my exes. Whoa. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, do we think Belgium is qualified, guys? In three, two, one. No, what? no, no, really? Oh, I'm surprised. Yeah. I mean, actually, I'm not that surprised. Okay, right, so the people that thought they were gonna, he was gonna qualify, do you think it's gonna be top ten? In three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. The last time I see more people say it's gonna be top ten. Okay. Well, I guess, Vince, do you think it's going to potentially win this contest? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Well, in that case, maybe you should start because... Okay, well, Belgium, I have to do my flex because I'm not using him any other time of the year, so I did this for next year again. Um, this song is so catchy, like, I want to sing, like, uh, this, um, the world is going... I don't know the lyrics anymore. Too bad. And it's no. all because of you. Yes. We know it. Um, no, I saw like I think it's the Euro jury. He came pretty high, so I expect Belgium to do well with the jury as the televote. I remember like when he won, everyone independent. Well, my point of view, everyone was like, oh my god, Belgium is not gonna qualify. Belgium shall do like intern selections, but I feel like it's really grown a lot of people since we saw Gustav performing in the pre-parties. I think he was always on point with delivering the right energy. Um, so I feel like this could be a surprise top 10 in May. Um, I really I really enjoy it. It's growing me. It's not in my personal top 10, um, but no, I like the energy. It makes me happy. And that's what uh, I like in this song. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very happy song. Very, very happy song. But uh, what about you, Dan? Oh, well, I don't know. Dan or Emma, I'm shaking his head. I don't know. I think you go, Dan. Who wants to go back? Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really saying the song is not going to qualify, but like, if for me, it's just not my, this song is not my cup of tea. It's my uh, 27th. It's on the 27th position in my top. 
It's just, it is catchy. And the best thing about this song is his vocals. They're amazing. But it's just not my cup of tea. The song sounds outdated to me. Um, and if it is going to qualify, I guess it's because of like, well, not trying to be shitty here, but people from like older generation, because they might like this so much, but much more than the newer. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like one of those 1990s songs, like with slightly outdated production. And, uh, but the melodic line is catchy and his vocals are amazing. So, um, and he has this very, very fun personality. It's just like, he might convince some people with that. Um, but yeah, I just don't have much more to say about this song. Okay. Yeah. I, I, as a reference, I, I have to say that as a 90, 90s kid uh, I was, uh, yeah, for, for sure, that house, acid house, voguing sound for us is is like very natural. I, we, I, I really love this this kind of sound. But because of that, I also think that it's not old sound. It's like now it's like a, a temporal sound, you know, it's, it's some, that, that, that kind of music that you can use it whenever you want, because it, it's going to sound great. I think as being said at the beginning, the people don't take much attention uh, with this song. But I think <clears throat> Gustav has been, uh, he has demonstrated that uh, that the, he can perform very well, uh, very good this, this song with his vocals and the performance is going to be very funny with the dancers. For sure, it's going to be dancers, voguing, drag queens or something like that. I think it's going to be very fun. I think he's going to convince uh, jury and televote as well and... I'm. I'm. Not, I don't think it's going to be a top ten. Is maybe it's too much. There are a lot of com, uh, containers. Uh, con, contain, contenders. Say, contenders. Contenders. That, <laughs> not containers. Contenders. <laughs> containers. <laughs> Put them on containers. That's one way to call everyone else trash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that that could be. Um. Not not a top ten, but I think in the left side of the table could 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 finish yeah i agree i i i'm just gonna go straight into because i've very similar uh views as you i'm 90s kid love my house music always will love house music and i actually think house music's very timeless like you were saying in every aspect so i've got to kind of disagree with you dan in that aspect that like i feel like only the older generation will like it because i think house music is very palatable for most people and it's now, there's a comeback with the whole Beyonce thing with her track. Like that was a house track that she came out with. And I think there is a resurgence in the younger generation with that. And I agree also that I think that everyone was kind of putting this on the back burner. They weren't really talking about it. But now as time has gone on, I still have listened to this and the, the impact's still there for me. Even though, yes, I agree that it is a bit generic and it isn't, the most different song let's be honest it is just a classic house song that's all this is really but I do love Gustav's energy and I, I just think it's going to be a, a really fun song and I think it's following off I can't remember who's going before this but I, I remember like thinking this song will bring back the life in that semi where maybe it was lacking a little bit in some aspects so yeah. No, I don't think it's top 10 either, but I think it's going to be a fun song that we're going to enjoy. But Maybe yeah. I should go next so we don't finish off on a negative note. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I agree with Dan. I think this is dated. I think this sounds extremely cheap. I think this is a song made... Extremely? Come on. It's you can say that. Come on. Extremely? I've, I've said this before, but the production of this song sounds like it costs five euros. Um... And I said that it I sounds to say that, but I didn't want to be too harsh. And you are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anyone's gonna be harsh, it's gonna be fucking hell. <laughs> uh, with that said, I think this is a song that's targeted towards people 
that are in the Eurovision fandom, it's not targeted towards the locals and the casual viewers. So yes, it's popular in the fandom. I don't think it's going to be popular among casual viewers. I don't think this is the type of music most casual viewers listen to. Uh, that's why I don't think it's going to get enough votes to make it to the final. And also there's the aspect of that it, the fact that it's growing on most people. In Eurovision, it's not good to have a song that grows. On people, it's good to have a song that has an instant impact. And we all know most people had negative opinions of the song in the beginning when the song just came out and just won. So because of that, casual viewers watching this for the first time, I don't see them picking up the phone and voting for this. But that's just my prediction. Uh, I think he has great energy. I think he's a lovely guy. I think I maybe I would like to see him qualify because of his personality, but because of the song, I don't. I couldn't care for less. And that's on period for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go next then. I'll lighten the mood. Yeah, <laughs> get him Nelly yeah. over there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I listen, I'm a 90s kid as well. I absolutely love this song. It's very fresh. It's a 90s dance floor filler. It's just a feel good song. And it's the only Eurovision song of this year that I've listened to since it came out. The only song that I've had on repeat. Wow. Any other song I haven't. So, the, it, it, yeah, I absolutely adore Gustav. I think he's a very, very lovely artist. I think he'll capture, you know, he'll capture audiences. I know. As Emma said, it might not, but I do think it will. Because if you're listening to it for the first time and you're, you know, you're older, you're going to think, oh, my God, childhood nostalgia. So you are going to put a vote in for that. So I'm just, the only thing I'm concerned about is the stage. And I do want some voguing, which I do know that he did speak to that kind of community to have with it. Um, but, yeah, I think it will qualify. I mean, it's number 13 for me in my top 37. And it will probably go up. So we love that bitch. Yeah. We do. We definitely do. Can I add something? What yes. I love about this. I also love the backing singers. They like Mama. She brings such a good energy on yes. stage. Like, yes. You will bring them to the stage, but this act needs them in the stage to make this a, a little bit more uplifting. So I really like that as well. Yeah, I, I just want to see more disco balls because that they were kind of on the floor in the yeah. and they didn't really see them as much. But I think if they bring that on stage, I I yeah. I agree. Uh, ballroom I, is the scene of the. Ten. Yeah, 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 very yeah. count. It's very count. But we love and it. And a good show that draws attention to to people who's watching. And maybe with that and the funny song, maybe I think they they are going to vote for him. I'm just a bit disappointed that he's not opening semi final two because that would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. You've yeah. got all these sort of mellow kind of ballad sort of songs in the in the first three, yeah. and then you've got good stuff to say like "Hello, wake up time, it's fresh." If you started off with him first, it would have just, I think it would have worked a bit better. Mm. I, I feel like it might bring, though, that, like I was saying, it might help with those slower songs in the middle to, you know, I feel like actually it's going to work in his favour. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's between Estonia and, and Cyprus. Yeah, exactly. So there yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like... Cyprus after him? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he will get outshined by. Anything. Oh, I not agree, but Ooh. okay. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't agree with that. But yeah, <laughs> we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. Okay, well, let us move on to the next country, which is San Marino. What Pete Jacks? Pete Jacks. Pete Jacks. Pete Jacks. Pete Jacks. <laughs> like an animal. Smell you like an animal. Do you think? Do you think the lyrics? What one we smell oh my God. <laughs> the lyrics will get on to in a second. Uh, like, um, okay, so do we think this is gonna qualify? In three, two, one. Mm. Emma, what is this today? Are you, is this hangover like getting to your head a little bit? I think that Amer is coming today just to create. Polemic. Uh, chaos. You know, uh, I can't hear chaos. chaos. <laughs> I just want chaos. <laughs> okay. Well, those that thought it's going to qualify, um, do you think this is going to be top 10? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> I think it's actually going to win. It's all going to come. <laughs> yeah, right? 
<laughs> well, why didn't you go ahead? Tell us why you think it's going to qualify. Uh, I just think this is one of the most underestimated songs this year. And I think one of the biggest reasons why it's underestimated is because of the underwhelming national final performance. And that's the only thing we've kind of seen. Uh, and that stage and just everything about that national final is just was just so underwhelming that like it's not a good representation of what's going to happen on the Eurovision stage. I think from from the pre parties, they're incredible performers. They got, have great energy, and this is just like a very commercial rock song. It's catchy. I see people resonating with this. I think the biggest reason why I think this wouldn't qualify is because of the fact that it's San Marino and San Marino is not known to be to do well with Televote. Uh, but other than that, I think this could make it. I think it's a it will be like a very borderline qualifier, but I think there is a chance that it makes it. And I, I think that's the world that I would like to live in. <laughs> okay. Vince, you're just smiling. What is it? Yeah, just He's because like, um, <laughs> what are you how it ended like San Marino will find a path for his right armor. He will find something in a row. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. No, uh, I just was just, so I was just checking how San Marino did last year because there I really believe San Marino calls qualify, but this year I don't really see it. Uh it's my personal second to last in my overall top and last in the semi-final. Uh, I have maybe heard the song like once and then live at Eurovision concert. So I'm, I'm not, I have maybe to listen to it more, of course. But no, it doesn't really grab me. It's nothing. Maybe if some like Lithuania would have sent it, I will look different to it than because it's San Marino and there's no hype for it. Um, I hope they're going to enjoy the journey, of course. They're going to have fun, but I don't think this will do well. Yeah. Like, I don't see this in the top 10. If last year was 12th place in the, in the televote, I was like, San Marino is definitely qualifying and can see this qualifying. That's my point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we saw them at LEP and I was like, actually quite pleasantly surprised with that performance, to be fair. Like, I, I, I did not like the national selection. I just thought it was really messy. But when we saw them, you know, they had charisma on stage and he could sing. He could sing. And we were all like, me and Laura were like, oh, this is actually not that bad, you know? But like we literally looked at each other like, oh my god, he can sing. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know literally. <laughs> but I want that surprising. I know. We we were a bit shocked with that. But that aside, I have to still compare it with the other songs. And I just I find it very generic still, the actual song itself, in in that sense of maybe it's just not for me, but I like my rock songs. So yeah. it's just it's the least favorite rock song of mine this year. And I just don't see the standing out enough to qualify. And yeah, that that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say about this one. Am I the weirdo that's put them in their top 15? I'm very proud of it, but I just think they're not going to qualify. <laughs> is, is there a 15? Yeah, what you like. Yeah, well, this number 11 for me in my top 15, it's like number 11 for me. They were amazing at LEP. Um, Obviously, as as everyone said, I just don't think they're going to stand out enough. I just feel like something's going to let them down. As much as they are lovely people and the song is fairly okay, they remind me of Franz Ferdinand a lot. I don't know if any of you guys know that band, but they remind me of Franz Ferdinand a lot. Um, and it, it can be a bit of an earworm, but I don't know what animals we're smelling. We need to find a good one. Because I'm not smelling no orangutan's armpit for the sake of Please. San Marino. <laughs> <laughs> please don't do it this is a message for all the audience don't I'll give do it that. a lick <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are some animals that smell nice oh. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what animals I've been here but they really weren't <laughs> but yeah no I just don't think it's going to qualify if it does I'd like to remain hopeful deep down I'd, if it does it'll be like by thread literally yeah. by a thread and it will cancel out one that actually does deserve it if that makes sense but you know it's no hate towards them personally I, I, just, I just don't really with a song yeah Agreed. who wants to go next Dan do you want I honestly I, I don't know what to say about this song I just I just think there are much better songs and uh, I don't think it's gonna qualify it's not a bad song it's like it's an average song I guess pretty forgettable 
Um, but like, I actually thought he has pretty good vocals when I watched the national uh, final performance. It's just they they had some problems with the um, the production there and with the the microphone. Just, there was this huge echo and delay. It, it just sounded weird. And that's the only performance that I've watched like two times. So um, I haven't seen the updated stuff. Maybe I'm gonna change my opinion, but it's just a mess song for me. It's not bad. It's just there are much more better songs this year. It's a very tough competition, and it's not gonna qualify, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> for me, and and not for me because I th I think it's last in the my Eurovision scoreboard. I think in the odds, it's in a thirty three position or something like that. Uh, for me, it's my last in my personal ranking. I really think that it's not a bad song, okay, but it it has not the enough level to go to a uh, to go to a, a final to a Eurovision final. Not this year, any year for me. It it is not a it it has not essence. It has not a good quality for me enough to 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 be in a in a final stage. You know. Um, and that's it. I, I I will be extremely surprised if if they qualify for 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 the final. Extremely surprised. Oh, I can't wait until Thursday to see all your shook faces. Okay. Yeah. I get the part of the run if they qualify. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You bet we haven't run when we actually go there because I'll be like, oh, I'm literally going to have to go to an offie and get like three bottles of rum. <laughs> Just I'm coming with you. Um, you should be happy, Laura, if they qualify during your 11th. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm smiling deep down. I might shake some titties if they do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to our next country then. And I think that is Iceland. Do we think Iceland is going to qualify in three? Wait, wait, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Take okay, you a minute. <laughs> think, think for a minute. Uh, Ilio. Uh... Power. Yeah. Yes, yes, I know about that in my ranking. I don't know if I say they, they are going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I check it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good? I check. Okay, good. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, ah! Ah, oh, you deserve what? it. What happened? You deserve that for that Belgium what comment. Do you do? I didn't have any that. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the mug. On the bone of the oh. above the foot, you know the circular. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't wait to see that back. It's karma, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, wait, did <laughs> anyone say? <laughs> that's so funny. Did anyone say? Was it just me that? No, no, three of you, I think. Right. Well, those that think it's going to qualify, do you think it's going to be top 10? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, straight to it. Yeah. No. <laughs> <I think so. laughs> okay. Okay. So kick it off. Laura? Can... Me? Why am I kicking Laura. it? Oh, hello. I thought you said, I thought you said number, then I was like, yeah, go on. Uh, right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, hello. Um, I love Dilly To be fair, she's in my personal top 10. But that girl is an absolute dark horse with her vocals. The only thing that really lets her down is the staging. So I do think, you know, she needs to work on that staging a little bit. But I I genuinely think she will she will qualify and probably come top 15. I do, because the vocals, she's just so likable, so lovable. She she knows how to connect with an audience and the song's very different for Iceland compared to, you know, last year. Um, it's just nice and fresh to hear. So yeah, I, I just think it's gonna be well, really. I'm gonna qualify. Hmm. I like the song. I think I I like her vocals. She she has a lot of I think that she's um 
she makes uh, she she trains a lot and and she has a lot of energy and she when she dances on the on the stage because she's moving a lot but her voice is not affected because of the movement so she has a lot of good uh, body uh, health <laughs> Um, but the problem, the big problem with her, with her, with her performance is the staging. She's, she's very alone. Maybe if they improve the staging for Eurovision, uh, she has more possibilities. But uh, I think that she, for, for me, it's in the frontier. Depending depends about how she's going to do about what what she's going to do in in Eurovision. She's going to to qualify or not, but. By now, I think not. It's, it's in the frontier, but I think it's, it's not going to qualify. But I like the, the song a lot and I enjoy it uh, a lot. It's a pity for me. Yeah. I'm sure because I have the same opinion as Paco. Like, this is one of the songs that I... Sorry, Vince, were you about to go? I'm so sorry. I have this question. What do you, Laura and uh, Paco want to see for staging? Like you say, I want a different station, but what kind of staging do you want? Do you want She's that? absolutely alone, only with that smoke and that flowers. Why flowers? <laughs> Why there are flowers in on the on the screens? That I need a message. I need see, the message of the song is a very um, feminist oh. empowerment. It's uh, impact. Yeah. And yeah. I think that that message must be in in the in the scene in the staging anyway. I don't know how, but not with flowers. Not with flowers. Yes, yeah. not with flowers. And I don't know. Maybe dancers. Maybe. What anything, anything, but because she is completely alone uh, on the stage, and it's very uh, me. Sorry, Paco. Me visually no, no. looking about it now, I can see dancers on the stage, and I can see it being very contemporary. Oh, come on, come on, I'm sorry. <laughs> what just happened? I think her dog. I think her mom and her. going to the post office, and my dog <laughs> just heard her. Visually, I can see very contemporary dancers. Um, sort of portraying the message, but I need something from her a little bit more from that staging. Um, I just wanted to be involved with loads of kung fu moves as she does. So that's, that's the other reason with the staging, really. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I can go now. Uh, agree with everything Paco said. This is one of the songs that would be my personal qualifier, and I love it. I love her energy. I love her voice. But again, because of the staging, and yeah, I. I would love to see those qualify, but somehow I have a feeling it's not gonna, and I'm gonna be very disappointed. Um, that's why my prediction is that it's not gonna, but I, I would love for this to qualify, and I would love for them to make an impactful staging for this. Like, I think I would disagree that I would say she doesn't need dancers because alone she has amazing energy, she owns the stage. What she needs is impactful LEDs and not just flowers. Maybe even some LEDs that she interacts with. Hmm. I could see a lot of potential there. Iceland has done that in the past. Iceland has done mm -hmm. that well in the past, unfortunately. <laughs> they didn't qualify when they did, but <laughs> they did it well. So, yeah. I think if she does go through the final, she will do really well with the jury because of her voice. Hmm. But televote is what scares me. Yeah, I think... I agree. I think that she doesn't actually need much else on stage. I, I I loved the fact that she came on and completely just build that stage up with her charisma and her energy and her power, which is literally what the song is about. And I think that she will get points solely on that. Um, and not a lot of people can do that. So, I mean, it's like Lorene Euphoria. I feel like well, there was a guy there and there was one guy, wasn't there? But like, you know, it, it really shows when an artist can do that, that they like that, that just that they are so talented to be able to do that. And I think she is one of the most talented people in terms of, you know, not having to need a lot of other things to going on uh, on stage. But yeah, I think if we still need something a little bit more elements wise, LEDs, maybe some smoke, I don't know, but yeah, I, I think the flowers maybe need to go away as well. I think that was the only criticism I would say, but 
other than that, I have nothing else about to say because I really like the song and I really like the drum and bass sound. Again, it's a bit of a throwback. We're having quite a bit of a throwback year in some elements, you know, um, and I like that. So it's different from the other songs. And it's, I, I think it's, you know, especially better than last year's song for me. It's more my cup of tea. And yeah, I think she's going to do well. Yeah, I also really like the song. It's uh, it's actually 13 in my top, my personal top. But um, while I really like it, I, I'm not really sure it's going to qualify because I do understand that it's not one of the most groundbreaking songs. It's not like one of the most standout songs out there. And um, But I, I wanted to qualify because I really like the song. I, I like her energy. Her voice is amazing. And she kind of, her presence kind of reminds me of Billie Eilish in a way. Her style, her, even the way she moves, like those chaotic dance moves are kind of like, for some reason, remind me of Billie Eilish. Even her voice is like so bright and it's kind of like Billie Eilish on steroids, I would say, because it's much more powerful. <laughs> um, but yeah, with with good staging, she can definitely qualify, I think. Apart from dancing, I think she was a really big fan of Billie Eilish. I think she... Well, it shows. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> it shows. It shows. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm, I'm confused. Well, um, for me, it's my top 12, in my top 12, I think my 12th place, uh, so I hope it qualifies, but um, if I'm right, Iceland, the last time a solo female artist from Iceland qualified was in 2010, right? I did think this was like the last time, 2016, Greta didn't qualify, then you have the, well, whatever, I think it was like 13 years ago, so I'm feeling scared this will not qualify um because it's not like uh, you said the most outstanding one i like her vocals and at the eurovision concert in amsterdam she was wearing like the um, really weird outfit where she had like to hold her tits like the whole time like this so i hope she put something nice on because she was only busy with her tits and <laughs> i think it's not really working for eurovision um but if yeah you <laughs> no, but I can try to find a video right now and you will see what I mean. Wait, I want to see this. I video. need to see this now. I need to see yes, this. I, 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 I did not expect <laughs> to hear that this morning. <laughs> really it, so I'm um, uh, while he's searching for that, one of the things I forgot to say is this song, uh, it gives me the same vibes I got from Romania 2018 the humans goodbye ah. it's not like the same type of song but i i'm getting the same feelings from it and that ah. song also barely like didn't qualify even though i really wanted it to um that's why i, I don't know i'm just getting like a that was the, uh, the money key thing yes. yeah. oh hmm. staging no but the song the staging was yeah <laughs> <laughs> and even the singer had similar energy i don't know are you ready yeah, yeah for sure Look at their hands what? Ah, yes, yeah, she's oh, holding. Yeah. Hot because of her tits. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. If she did a bra on. I mean, it's quite really modest. I mean, I've done it. It's a modest top, though. It's not like she's. Yeah. Like, but you know. Like, if you're gonna jump, you know you're gonna be like shaking every day. Yes. You should talk like that. Perfect. You notice that. Yeah. I mean, I've had that problem countless times um, with that without a bra on. I've had to. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just I've like a big girl. Even if I'm cold, I've had to help myself a bit. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure I think on by the time it comes to Eurovision, they'll, they'll have an outfit that she can dance in because that is the main part of that performance. She is moving throughout the whole thing. And like you said, Paco, like her, like she must be like in her diet, I think it's a diaphragm, right? When you sing, it must be so powerful because it's like, I, I can't even like, oh, I can't sing, but like, I don't know how people do that like singing and dancing at the same time and she was pretty pitch perfect from what i gathered so she does a lot of crossfit and maybe because of that uh, she can yeah. sing and dance yeah, yeah. she's very fit yeah mm. like she was making videos from the gym and stuff you stronger as hell. she should join you like on the workouts yeah yeah cool. Dilla, if you're watching this let's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah um uh, has everyone gone i can't remember now yeah? yeah all right 
Well, we're moving on to our last song. Let's go. For Armenia. <laughs> Of course, Brunette, future lover. What do we think? Do we think this is going to be qualifying? Three, two, one. Yes. I think this one's a no-brainer. In that case... I was, I was going in attack mode if anyone dared to... I mean, I like, was come like, on. Hey, not Mary. now, Amara. <laughs> like, we all have our personal opinions, but I think it's all... We all know this is going to qualify. <laughs> Uh, no, there's some people that think it won because of the second running order and stuff I was like uh, mm. the world. Yeah. well in that case do we think this is going to be top 10 in 3 2 1 oh beans yeah I don't know it's the only one <laughs> Okay, oh, you're no. going to start maybe. No, 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 no. <laughs> if we're gonna, if this is gonna win first, is this gonna yes, win? Yes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is gonna win? Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 It has chances. Uh, it, depending of the question, has chance. Yes, has chances. So Marina's but... chances as well. But very few, yes, I think a very few chances. Is just... yeah, okay. Well, I think he has a chance to come top five. I don't think he has a chance to win. Yes, that's for me. That could be yeah. Well, but beans, tell us yeah. why don't you start? Bareth Hayastan. No, uh, it's personally my second place. So I really, really love this song. But I think I have to make next year like a list with the 10 qualifiers, the top 10, because I feel like I've said like to 20 songs, they're going to top 10. So I was like, I'm putting them out of the top 10, but I really like it. Uh, <clears throat> so it's, it's not that I don't like it, but I just feel like I have to say to one country, no, you're not going to be in the top 10. Uh, I think this is very modern from this time. One of the, my favorite entries ever from Armenia. I think they can go many ways with the staging. I also loved um, the version she did. I don't know where it was, but like an acoustic version. Um, I've showed in the Eurovision teach chat already. I adore it. Um, I'm going to keep it short because I don't want to tell everything for everyone, but I love it so much. But you don't think it's going to qualify? Oh, easily. Yeah, it's going to qualify. And I think it's going to be top 10. But I have to say to some countries, you're not going to be in the top 10. Otherwise, the world final is like, I think they will be in the top 10. So I was like, hmm. You know, not to top ten initially, not to qualify. Yeah, but what? I think uh, Paco was confused. I think he thought you said no to qualifying. Oh no, it's gonna qualify. Yes. Oh, I thought you oh. said no too. Wait, what? Oh, no, she's gonna yeah, qualify. Top ten. Yeah, the top ten. No, okay, <laughs> that that explains a lot. Okay. Because I I I I was. I, I'm, I was going to say that for the same reasons that you are saying, I think she is going to qualify. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. She's easily going to qualify. The vocals uh, are on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Armenia, I have a lot of confidence about uh, Armenia's uh, staging. I think the Armenia always bring us a very good staging and yes, yes, with good element elements and expensive things. And uh, for Sir Brunette, um, it's going to bring us a blow mind stage. And I think it's going to be very, 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 very good. I don't know if enough for winning. I think that because of the vocals and it's going to be easily in a top 10, top five. I think it's very difficult this year to, to, to win, but she's going to, to, bring us a very very good uh, number in in eurovision for sure who wants to go next i'll go if she wants <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i'm gonna be a bit brutal here because i can but um <laughs> i don't know for me i mean i i'd heard of brunette i've got a lot of armenian friends that are fans of hers i looked at her stuff stuff wasn't really my cup of tea anyway like I'm not huge into it like 
that new style of hip hop. Like if I'm going to listen to hip hop, I want that nineties, like, you know, sound like it's just, it, it isn't for me. Um, but, uh, I had a lot of, you know, high expectations just because of her rapport and everything. And then when I heard the song, I was just a bit underwhelmed because the only part of this song for me that does anything is the Armenian bit. And that bit, I feel the power of everything that it's meant to do. And it is amazing. It is amazing, that bit. So I am quite torn between this song because it's like, I know how much people love it. Like everyone really, really likes this song. Maybe not me so much, but like, I know, I can see the potential in it. I do see the potential in it. And I do think that this is going to do very well. And it it could be top five. I, I could see that. I don't see it winning though. I don't think it's in, it's impactful enough right now without the performance obviously who knows what can happen if she starts levitating and stuff like different story we might all be like okay this is meant for the stage which it could be I know she's good at performing live so I don't really know what's gonna happen but I yeah I don't see it winning but yeah it's it's a decent song just not my favorite Armenian song and I think that Armenia needs to bring more of the Armenian back into what what made Armenian entry so good back in the past so yeah, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, I'll go then. <laughs> See, I'm completely different. I feel like I get an R and like nineties R and B sort of vibe from it. But I was brought up around nineties R and B, so I love that anyway. So that fitted in really well with me. Um, the new version compared to the other one, the original one, I prefer the new one because it gives it more of an emphasis within the music so hopefully she does that you know on the liver yeah, right. stuff. she's going to do the original one isn't it i'm not uh, too sure is she no 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 i'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that it's like an acoustic session no I'm hoping <clears throat> yes it's, it's going to be the original song yes because the um, the karaoke version on on of eurovision cd is going is the original one I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't okay, know. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> She'll do the original one. I'm pretty. But yeah, I feel like she needs a little bit more on stage. That's the only thing. Because if it's going to be just her and, you know, no bells or anything like that, it's going to look a bit, look and be a bit like flat, if you know what I mean. Um, But it's in my top 10. It's in my top 10, personal top 10. But I think that's from the R&B, like 90s R&B element in it. So... Yeah, it's good for me. I just I just feel like she needs a little bit more emphasis on the stage and not to have Miss Thing on her own with a violin like Celine Dion. So we're all good. Yeah, like in the beginning, it was uh, when I first uh, listened to it, it was on the 10th place in my personal top. And then slowly but surely it climbed up. And now it's uh, on the third place, actually, after watching all the new performances. I, I just love her. The song is so amazing. I like how it starts with just like her voice and a piano, that beautiful piano. And then it transitions into the chorus, which is amazing. Then she gives us this um, rap, I guess. And um, I usually hate rap, but for some reason, I really like her. <laughs> yeah. So that surprised me. And uh, then in the end, it explodes into this very well-produced chorus, amazing sounding um, I was afraid about her uh, live vocals in the beginning, but after watching the performances, she's amazing. So, um, yeah, I'm not saying the song's gonna win, but I just, uh, when I rise, raise my cup, I, um, I was just thinking that like, it has a chance to win. It's a small chance, but it still is there. Uh, you never know. And um, yeah, not much to say. I really, really like it. We'll the, final, the final part with the um like the epic the epic ballad of the yen i have yeah. chills listening there yeah. with that part i really have a goosebump so i really have chills because it for me is very very emotional the message of the song is very nice very emotional and because of that changes starting like a ballad then an r b song then an epic ballad at the end they have a lot of potential if they use their imagination they have they can do a lot of very 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 uh, great things so they have a lot of potential with that this with this song and and with brunette that they, they she is a, a very nice artist and she can mm, uh, 
send the message and, uh, and, and and performance very very nice. I, I think it's going to be very very nice this this song yeah for sure. Yeah, it sounds like three different songs but combined mm -hmm. so well together and they just work so well together. But that makes that you watching this you are not going to get bored because yeah. it's right. each minute the sun is going to change and yeah. it keeps your attention. Oh, it changed. Oh, it changed again. So you are not going to get bored about uh, this sun and this thing is, is, is a good thing. I agree. I think everything about the song is incredible. I love how it progresses. It's really a trip. It starts one way, it turns into something, and then it turns into something greater, and it's just such an explosion. My only complaint about this song is I would want it to be longer. Like, <laughs> I want it to stop, you know? It's just that good. It's one of the only songs in the world that made me have tears in my eyes when listening to it. I'm not an emotional person. I think y'all have figured that by now. Very strict to the point. So when a song makes me have tears, it's it has to be something extreme uh and that this was just one of those songs and to me i was just thinking if this can make me cry what can it do to emotional people like <laughs> it's just and i think regardless of what the staging is i think it's going to be amazing just because of brunette like besides her being an amazing vocalist she has that presence she has that star presence if you see her like in the video, if you see her at the performances, she looks like a teen star yeah. and really has that some, like that X factor. So I think regardless of what's on the stage, even if she's just alone, it's still going to look amazing yeah. because of her. Hmm. The looks also, she looks very nice, very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The style, yes, is, is great. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love the Armenian girls. Like in junior Europe, in this lay, this like, I'm not like say it's junior year, but like the, the hairstyle, I just mm. love of how Malena looks and Brunette, she looks so mm. yeah. Perfect. I love that. I know. They, they, I th that's the thing that I, I do think Armenians obviously do very well with female singers. Mm -hmm. Kind of do want to see something a little bit different now, but that's just me being nitpicky because it's Armenia and I've got high standards for my country and like I, I do, I do you know want to see something a bit a, diff a bit different but i know everyone loves it here so like clearly <laughs> everyone, everyone's gonna you know it's gonna probably do very very well and that's i spoke but yeah i mean last year junior eurovision there's a rapping bit um that's really good and i just maybe wanted to see that in armenian as well in this one because sometimes i find it hard to understand what she's saying so because of her accent she does have an accent but you know that's just me I think like this entry seems genuine to me because of the fact that like she's already an established artist and yeah. she's sending something that represents her as an artist and that's why like I'm against people like assuming that every country should send something like that represents the country because if I'm an artist and make rap songs that have nothing to do with the with Bosnia I'm not gonna send a song in B Bosnian ballad I'm gonna send a song that I make to represent myself as an artist and I'm really yeah, glad to think that but but she at the same time had some Armenian in it. So I think she did a, yeah. If, if if she is producing music for uh, Armenia, that's an Armenia sound. So it's a sound that yeah. Armenia is listening. So I think both things are are are, are okay. So uh, that's for me, it's representative of a country, an artist that is music that is making music in his in his or her country. Uh, that's a representative music of, of that country so for me it's okay yeah I agree it doesn't have to be cultural for example no. it still represents mm. the country and she didn't as as we said she had some Armenian in it and it's amazing and it really came at the right time just when you think like what is she going to give you next she gives you the Armenian and just blows you out of your boots so <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough that's fair enough I think she's gonna do great. I, I do think she is gonna do great. So yeah, for sure. Not worried about that. And yeah, I think it is one of the strongest songs in this semi-final. The semi-final in general for me is very unpredictable. Like I don't really know how it's gonna go, and we won't know until we see really the rehearsals. I mean, are we? I don't think they're even televising them this year, are they? Not allowed to see the rehearsals. Oh, we're gonna well. see videos, yeah. 
in Me, the tic- on, on, on TikTok. TikTok. Like 10 to 15 seconds. <laughs> yes. And photos. Yeah. Well, yeah, on those. I think they've done it just so it doesn't feel like the artists are doing a full-on performance all the time. They can actually have a proper rehearsal. But, you know, we do want to see something. You know, we do want to see something, not just, you know, a 10-second clip on TikTok, which can go flying around everywhere. We're going to see the same things we saw last year. The only thing that's different about this year is the journalists can't see it. Yeah. That's it, because but that because although we don't have images, all the journalists can tell us, uh, I don't know, the, how the scene is going to be or the feelings or how if they, their impressions. And we are not going to have that. And for me, it's a pity because I think it, I don't know. I think it, they create hype and and for for the contest and expecting making expectations about how to to watch the the performance and the scene. But, I, I mean, know. I can understand I... it. Sorry, I mean, I can understand it being from a performance point of view. You don't want that extra pressure on you if your staging gets you know leaked or. You've got journalism, like journalists giving it all away and you think, well, what's the point of me doing it now? Because you will fucking see it anyway. So there is that extra bit of pressure there. So I can understand it. You don't need that extra lot. But, you know, you have got people there with that fine line that are going to want to see everything and to understand it more before they see the full thing. So it's it's very like... But you have yeah. eight countries that apologise, officially apologise about without uh, not having journalists because they are not go- the artists are not going to have promotion and they are going to be in Liverpool just for one interview and the semi-final if, and if they they don't qualify they are going to disappear so it's going all no, the time is- they are going to have in Eurovision is going to be one interview in, on TikTok and one performance on TV that's a shit that's <laughs> And they want a journalist for uh, interviews and make uh, collaborations with with us, for example. And that 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 means promotion for the artist. The, the artist wants promotion. I think it, they they are wrong with with this. It's just very isolated for the artist. Sorry, Vince. I know it's just very isolated for the artist, which I do think is quite sad. I can understand with some, you know, they may not want to, which I know a few. Uh, <laughs> um, but I, I do think they're very isolated this year. So I do think it's a bit unfair on them when they, they really want to talk to people and get to know people. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I think uh, countries in the semi-final two have more time to talk with the press than the semi-final one because they, when do, Monday you see? Monday, like, on Monday yeah. 8, 8. Yeah. You see the clips and then the next day you have Eurovision and then the other countries have like still a couple of more days to promote or go to the press and talk with them. So I get why some countries are like, this is like they have more advance of speaking with the press than we do because they have to be focused on Eurovision and they can still be like, okay, we have still a couple of days left. Yeah. Let's see. It yeah. It. yeah, we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. But I'm excited. Is everyone excited? Yeah, yeah it's coming. I'm, I'm That's why I can't sleep. Tomorrow, I'm... tomorrow our first rehearsals. Yeah, yeah, Green. Yeah. And when, when you guys are watching this, first rehearsals already happen of some countries. So. Probably, probably. Yeah, probably. Y'all are living in the future. <laughs> and also, I'm I curious how they're going to play. Let's I'm not gonna sorry, Vince. This is probably why I can't sleep because I'm too excited. Oh, I that's right. That's the past right. few weeks, I've just wanted to pierce my knickers every five seconds from excitement. So oh. <laughs> that's why you wake up so early. That's yeah. probably why I keep waking up so early. Yeah, <laughs> but I am very excited. I'm sure everyone here and everyone watching is very excited. Otherwise, you wouldn't be clicking on this video. Uh, but um. Thank you for everyone that's been watching this season. As I said, please go send all of these amazing YouTubers their, the love that they deserve because they work very, very hard this season. And I'm oh. sure we're going to be doing... Oh, let's go <laughs> I'm sure we're going to be doing a lot more stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. And on that note, we will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.